in August 1942, Otto was deported from Drancy, uh, which was a camp right, at, right outside of Paris. He was deported to Auschwitz. About a day into the journey, he managed to write and send, in a way, a very remarkable letter. He managed to get a scrap piece of paper and in pencil scrawled a note addressed to his wife and threw it out of the train. Um, we don't know how he got the pencil, we don't know how he got the paper or the envelope that he put it in, um, but he managed to get this out of the train. There was a French railway worker, again we don't know his name either, um, who found the letter on the track and managed to write a very beautiful message and get the note to Otto's wife. Um, this is the only thing that she really had from her husband, um, the only knowledge that she had of when he went, when he was taken to Poland. In our records we know that she inquired with the International Tracing Service trying to find him as late as 1964. Um, but even with our extensive records, our thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of pages of documents, um, there really is no trace of Otto Simmons after he leaves Drancy. This is just one little document, but it's so powerful in itself because it, you not only have Otto's last words to his family in which he tells them to be brave, you have the words of this, this railway worker who doesn't quite know what to do. You can kind of see that in, in his words that he, he hopes that the letter pleases Mrs. Simmons, but, you know, he's kind of lost and the fact that a bystander would find this and pick it up and then do everything in his power to get it to the wife is something really powerful to me.